Hello amazing and beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on wherever you're watching me from and at what time. My name is Capriti Africa or you can call me Maggie or Meg. Um, today we're going to talk about 10 beginner intermittent fasting tips for weight loss. I'm going to teach you this because yeah, I am currently on intermittent fasting yeah and i'm going to share my tips because i started i fell off the wagon and then i started again yeah and i fell off the wagon and then i started again on a serious note and so far mm, i feel great i feel great so i'm going to share with you realistic tips that are going to help you so tip number one as a beginner you need to understand what intermittent fasting is um intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that cycles between periods of fasting and eating so intermittent fasting does not mean that you're not going to eat you're going to starve yourself to death yeah you need to understand that and tip number two you need to choose the right fasting window uh there are different fasting schedules there is 16 8 14 10 12 12 but all that is 16 8 means 16 hours you're fasting eight hours you eat during that eight hour window there is 14, 10, 14 hours fasting, 10 hours you eat. Then there is 12, 12 as a beginner, Kabisa, 12, 12, where you fast for 12 hours and 12 hours you eat. Um, fasting, fasting started a long time ago with our ancestors and everything because these people literally didn't have a, an eating schedule like the way we have nowadays. You have breakfast, lunch, supper, and in, in the middle you have snacks. So right now we have so much to eat and we are giving our body a lot to eat. Yeah, so fasting is not something that re recently started. It started a long time ago. It's just that nowadays there is abundance of food. You know, those days people used to go hunting. Yeah, and hunting. So when that food comes, that is when you guys are going to eat. But nowadays no one pays uh, attention to the hunger cues or the full cues because... You feel like you're craving ice cream, you take ice cream. You don't care even if you're full. You feel like you're craving something, you just eat. You just eat. That is the problem because our body needs time to digest whatever we are having. So tip number three, stay hydrated. There is a very huge importance of water during our fasting period. You know, food serves... Um, not food, sorry. Water serves as a means of transport, bringing nutrients to the cells and flushes waste. Also... It is important for cell growth and it is a catalyst for metabolic processes in the body. And also, in order to lose weight, you need to take the right amount of water so that you can make it easy for your body to actually shed off weight. And guys, I'm going to introduce you to a certain app. This is the app that I've been using. And oh, this is not a paid ad. I'm not paid by anyone. <laughs> I only have 47 subscribers, but... <laughs> This app is a game changer. It has changed my fasting because, um, you know, um, I used to fast the 16-8, where I fast for 16 hours and then I eat for 8 hours. And what was the problem with that? My body got used to that. And with this app, I have noticed that it is giving me different plans of fasting. Like today... I am fasting for like, I, I think more than 24 hours. Yeah, because my fasting started yesterday at 12, 12 a.m. Yeah, 12 a.m. Siku. And now my fasting is going to end tomorrow 6. It keeps switching up, switching up, switching up so that your body does not get used to one pattern. And I think that was the problem when I was first starting. Yeah. So that app is helping me a lot because it also has reminders for water intake. So literally, you cannot refuse to take water. The app is annoying. <laughs> it, keeps, it keeps giving you notifications. Drink water to stay hydrated. And then you have um, like a plant there where you draw, yeah, where you add. If you are taking 300 ml, you add another 300 ml like that, like that, like that. And then it calculates your BMI like... 
I'm using it on free, but I think I'm going to pray to pay for their subscription because this app is totally worth it. And I'm going to yeah put it somewhere here on the screen. Yeah, you see, and it gives you so much information and you can literally have a coach that is going to train you on your fasting period. Um, during fasting, yeah, you are advised to take water or any non-caloric drink. Uh, that means you can take herbal teas or black coffee, anything that does not have sugar. Yeah, herbal tea or black coffee. Other people even say you can take bone broth. You know, ile supuya, supuya, what is bones in this way? Mifupa. <laughs> Supu, yeah, mifupa, yeah. Also, tip number four, you start slowly. Is into intermittent fasting. Do not take it faster, faster. You want to lose weight quickly. You have to take it slowly so that your body can gradually start getting used to it. You know, as for me, like today, they are fasting the whole day. I'm not taking shit. Um, I never used to be able to do this, but my body has started getting used to it gradually, slowly. You need to take it slow. Hmm? You start with the those short fasting windows before you take on the big ones, like. That's 12, 12, then you can move to 14, 10, and then you can move to 16, 8, and then all the app can recommend for you, like, that huge fasting period. Uh, tip number five, you need, you need to have balanced nutrition. During the eating windows, uh, you know, there's the fasting window and then the eating window. During the eating window, you need to maintain nutritious meals so that you're not just taking anything that is just going to be useless and add calories in your body. Um... Calories are needed, but the right number if you want to shed off weight. Yeah, so you need to be eating whole foods and balanced macros. Yeah. Uh, tip number six, listen to your body. Pay attention to hunger and fullness cues. I have talked about this. You know, most of the time you feel like you're full, but uh, you want to finish the food on the plate. Or you feel you are very hungry. But since you are fasting, you cannot take anything. Like I've said, you take this slowly. Do not start giving your body shock because it is not used to this. Yeah? So, you can adjust your fasting schedule if needed. If it reaches to a point where the hunger is unbearable, just take. Take food. Yeah, take some very nice food that is well balanced and then adjust your fasting period. Okay? And the app you can in the app you can literally adjust the fasting period. I'm enjoying this app since I downloaded it. I'm really enjoying it. Um number seven, meal preparation. Uh as you if you have a fridge or if you don't have, you can actually write a meal plan. Uh I have a custom meal plan that I paid someone to make for me and I usually follow it. That makes sure that I take everything that is going to be nutritious and beneficial to my body. Yeah. So you need to learn how to make healthy meals, how to regulate fat, even the cooking oil, the type of cooking oil to use. Yeah, you need to learn all that. But as I am saying, you are beginning. Take it step by step. Am I using olive oil to cook? No. I am still using the regular oil to cook. I am taking it step by step. Ah, number eight, monitor progress. Track your weight loss and also you, you are, you are just going to, to notice health improvements. You will start feeling a bit lighter. You know, you'll just start feeling really nice and you'll start even noticing some clothes starting to fit after you've gone yeah, through this. So you can take a cloth that is really tight and you can use that to track your progress. Yeah. And also, please, set realistic goals. You cannot be 90 kgs and you want to be 40 kgs in two weeks. Please, do not put yourself, your mental health, and your body through that. Because I'm, you're not going to succeed in this. This needs to be taken slow. And you need to be mentally correct and health-wise correct to do this. Because this is not a joke as well. Because your body is used to a certain thing and now you're trying to readjust it. And the best thing about this is that once you have readjusted, you're going to have a very healthy relationship with food. Point number nine, 
Tip number nine, stay active. While you're intermittent fasting, if you want to lose your weight very well and gradually, quickly, you need to exercise. Uh, for me, I started slowly with the 10K steps walk. If you're following me and if you've been on my channel, I'm sure you've been seeing my 10K steps accountability. Actually, today I've done the 10K steps. I'm supposed to upload that video. It's just that it is too short and I don't know how to upload it, but yeah, it's relatively short. But today I went on my walk. Um, you can make your walks fun like me because today I was going to school and I decided to walk to school. Yeah, and that is how I achieved my steps. Like probably you're going to work, you can wake up a bit earlier or you're leaving work. You can get off if your place is not that much far you can take a good walk to achieve your 10k steps yeah so i would recommend a mix of cardio and strength training okay for me i've not started going to the gym but i'm going to start going to the gym so that i can lift weights because the way i'm losing weight i do not want to have saggy and loose skin yeah don't tone down my body so you need to stay active that is tip number nine very important tip number 10 seek professional guidance Please, intermittent fasting is not suitable for everyone. So if you know you have some health issues, kindly talk to your doctor before you start doing this. Yeah? And you also need to talk to a nutritionist as well so that you can be guided yeah, on how you can do this. Otherwise, for us, who usually do not have any issues, yeah, we just do anything we want with our bodies. Yeah. But if you know you have an issue, kindly talk to a professional first. Uh, also, I wish you well with your intermittent fasting journey. If you want, I could create a group, a WhatsApp group or something, where we could be encouraging one another while using the app. Um, you guys can just tell me in the comment section below. Otherwise, I am having... A very good time fasting and the fact that this app keeps reminding me on when to take my water when to do anything like it keeps just telling me my body is going through autophagy there's so many things on this app and it is going to really educate you during your fasting and yeah it just keeps telling me your body is not going through autophagy your body is not going through ketosis Yo. It feels nice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I wish you all the best in your fasting. Um, you can ask me anything on the comment section below. And you can tell me what you would like to see next from me. Otherwise, that will be all. I love you so much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, comment, share. And I hope to see you on my next one tomorrow. Bye.